the experience you're about to go on. Have you ever had one like it? How are you looking forward to it? I have not. This is my first time being out the country, so I'm really excited. I got my passport. <laughs> I really can't wait. <laughs> what's important to you? Like, we talked about the seniors kind of being this last push. Like, what's important for you about be maximizing this time with, with some of those other, not necessarily not your whole team, but especially those seniors here? Yeah, just soaking up every moment, being grateful for the time that we have together and just staying in the moment. That's, like, my focus for this year. What do you look forward to most on a, a trip like this? Um, the beach, just mm -hmm. being on pretty water and not dirty water. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of strides do you think you've made here in the off season for you personally? Um, I feel like I've taken big strides, just keeping my motor and taking a step in leadership, speaking more, and just also getting more reps up at the three and just expanding my game. What was uh, maybe the most uncomfortable part about expanding your leadership that you had to get over? Um, just not being afraid of just speaking up you know sometimes you don't want to feel like you're stepping on people's toes but we have a team where we understand each other and we have relationships so we know we want the best so i feel like having that comfortability with my teammates has been able to help me just to take that step forward what kind of benefit do you think a trip like this can have as far as team chemistry and adding new, new people and really getting to know each other? Yeah, taking a trip like this will definitely help with team bonding and we will be with each other for 10 days and doing a lot of fun stuff for 10 days and being able to play for a couple games. So I feel like it'll be a good experience just to get to know each other and again, soaking, that, soaking up the time and just, you know, getting to know each other more. Shauna talked about you guys as seniors hold a special place for her because you could have left, you could have done a lot of things. So, like, why was this group able to help flip the script of this program? Yeah, I would just say with the help of our coach and the people that she brought in, and we just we love being here. We love Illinois. We take pride in uh, being an Illinois athlete. So, I feel like just our mindset collectively really has helped the team. How do you hope this maybe kickstarts you guys into the fall and into the, the winter? Yeah, we always just talk about leaving a legacy, you know, and. Um, you know, we talk about having a one-way mindset, so we want this year to be the best year, especially for some of, some of us, it will be our last. Just what have the off-season practices been like, you know, with maybe a competitive level that's been increased this year? What's that kind of been like, and how can that benefit you to have that so early in the season? Yeah, every practice, every workout has just been about work, and I feel like We've been so competitive with each other when we play five on five, but it's just been a lot of detail focus. And we, again, we want this year to be our best year. And you know, we have freshmen and new people here. So we just want to set the stage high and just work hard. Who's challenging you the most to guard in, in practice? Uh, Jasmine Brown. Jasmine, she's a great addition. You know, she works really hard on defense. I don't like when she guards me. <laughs> she definitely makes me a better player. And guarding her, she's quick. She can shoot. Um, I'm glad she's here. Mm -hmm. You talk about like, those new players, and Coach Green's talked about this depth that's finally starting to build. Mm -hmm. And your players played like 30 plus, 40 minutes. Like, mm -hmm. how do you feel like that'll help you if that depth comes to fruition in January, February, March? Yeah, it will definitely help a lot. You know, um, giving each other a break, but also like. I didn't feel to the fire every time we sub. Like, that's amazing just having more people here and people who just work hard. It's been really good to know that we have that definition. What's your role in empowering some of those new faces to, to feel like they can go out there and help in the, that spot? Yeah, um, just being competitive with them in practice and pushing them, like, don't go easy on me. I'm not going to go easy on you. And just encouraging them, no, you know, I encourage the freshmen, like, don't think like a freshman. Like, when you're on the court, you're a hooper. So just work hard, be your best. You know, I've seen you out here a couple of times just working on a three-point shot. What's that focus been like for you maybe in the offseason? Has it been something maybe you concentrated a little bit more on? Yeah, just putting more focus and being more detailed and just growing confident in it. You know, I know I can shoot three now. It's just continue up with those reps and, you know, being comfortable for the game. What's that balance kind of look like? Because obviously you know a straight line drive that's one of your biggest strengths. And mm -hmm. how do you kind of balance that in, as you try to grow your game? Yeah, I, yeah I'm not going to try to be like Curry and be a three-point <laughs> shooter. But just, you know, when I have the opportunity to shoot a three, just take it, you know, take it with confidence and just still use my strength while just adding a little sprinkle of threes on them. <laughs>